In this video, I will talk about OLS asymptotics in R. Before you watch this video, please make sure that you have watched my other video called OLS asymptotics. I have opened up the R script here uh, and I have downloaded the data, wage1.csv, and I have placed it here into my directory, and then I have highlighted and run this program. And this is the console window uh, that typically comes at the bottom. I have put it to the side. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about OLS standard errors and what happens to them when we have asymptotics, which means when the sample size goes large. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and read the wage one data set here uh, into wage one data frame here and then let's run a regression with the full sample. So to do that we're using linear model wage dependent variable education tenure and experience being independent variable and wage one is our data frame here. So to summarize this model, these are uh, the coefficients and the standard errors uh, that we have here. And um, uh, we can note here that the coefficients are here and the standard errors are here. So for now, let me focus on the coefficient on experience, which is 0 0.02 in this case, and the standard error of 0 0.012. So this is a, um, I would like to actually uh, get the standard errors and save it here. Um, so to do that, um, we would be using the variance covariance. Coming from this model up above here, we were going to pick up the diagonal part of it and we're going to take a square root of it uh, and then look at that uh, standard error for uh, the, the coefficient on experience and this would basically be the standard error. So if you look at this standard error here, it is exactly the same this this standard error here. We're basically just um, calling it uh, SE1. The number of observations is um, N obs uh, is the number of observations for this model and we see that we have 526 observations. So now let's run the regression with the only half of the sample. So here is the same linear model being run, but we're going to be slicing the wage one and we're going to be picking only the first uh, from observation number one to N1. Again, was the sample size before. So we want a half of that sample size and I have minus one here. And let's summarize the model that we have here below. So in this model, uh, let's focus on again on the coefficient that we have here on experience. So this coefficient here is different, but I'm concentrating on the standard error. And if you notice here, the standard error of 0 .01, 0 0.019, this standard error when we have a smaller sample size it happens to be larger than this sample here. So again, we're going to um, pick up the standard error from here by using this uh, line here, and that would be the standard error that we see here. And the number of observations here for this model is 262. Okay, so now let's form the ratio of standard error for model one with the full sample, standard error for model two with half sample, and that would be equal to this uh, number. We can also take the square root of uh, the number of observations for the second model uh, over the first model, and we see almost the same ratios uh, as above. So here, as the sample size increases, the standard errors are changing at the rate of square root divided by one, uh, one divided by n. So again, as n increases, standard errors are going to be decreasing much faster uh, at this um, at, uh, at this at this rate, and so that's why when we have a larger sample size, the standard errors are smaller, and they would be leading to more significant coefficients.